little giant boxing. Here with Pita Pita, how hyped, how excited are you that obviously Virgil Ortiz is back in camp with RGBA? Uh, no, we're really excited, man. Um, Virgil is one of the one of the guys at the gym that 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 he's been here since he was, you could say, a kid and kind of grew up here, and you know what I mean. Like it's it, he had been here for 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 a long time already since he was, you know eight nine and oh or something like that when he got to the gym um so he had been here for a while so it felt good when he came back you know what i mean i just um i saw him today and uh you know it's exciting it's exciting to have him back uh you know we're looking forward to his fight january 6th now hopefully he's he's uh he's uh he has no more problems you know yeah, we know he had the, the health the health issues and uh but uh he's been good you know he's been training good he sparred yesterday trained well today um he says he feels really good he explained to us what happened you know um uh, in what was it July when they when they had to cancel his fight um, and um, yeah you know we're just excited to have him back how much stronger is he gonna be at junior middle well you saw him he's a big fucking kid man he he's big, yeah. yeah he's he's he big man and not big as in like he's he's like, letting himself no, he go he's fat. solid he looks, man yeah. he's got a six-pack you know um, he's he he was already a strong guy for 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 welterweight I think it'll carry into 154 he's only getting bigger he's 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 getting older he's getting his man strength um, he's gonna be a problem for for everybody 154 or 160 pounds. Um, this fight's gonna be I think somewhere in the middle in between uh, Like a little catchweight. Yeah, it's gonna be a catchweight somewhere in between see how he feels see uh, which which route he wants to go 154 or 160 but uh, but yeah, man, he, he's he's gonna be strong man. He's gonna be he's gonna be good for for, for the weight class He's gonna be strong enough to to handle those guys and uh, yeah, I'm excited talk about those fights at 154 against the Champions at the moment. I feel like those are great fights for Virgil. Yeah, there's there's obviously the, the the top dog at 154 right now is is Charlo. Uh, he he was the undisputed champ. He's been vacating titles uh, here and there, but he's the he's the top guy at 154. But you got Terence Crawford who's moving up in weight. Errol Spence is moving up in weight. Um, you got guys like Tim Zhu, uh, Brian Mendoza. There's a uh, there's a lot of guys at 154, and there's nothing but exciting matchups. Out of all those guys I mentioned, uh, Brian Castaño. Out of all all those guys, I don't think there's one that you wouldn't want to see in there with Virgil Ortiz. I think they would all make for great fights, and I think Virgil would have a great chance of beating all those guys. All right, and as far as uh, Virgil, what has he told you about actually being back here in the environment, the RGBA, and training alongside you and your dad? Because obviously, Pita, you play you play a huge role role in the success of of the gym, you know. I understand you also match make sometimes. You're, <laughs> we do everything. You're your dad's right hand man. Yeah. Man. Nah, he's he's excited too, man. He's uh, um, like I said, he 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 he's known a lot of the guys here in in our gym. Um, he's trained with them for for a long time. Him and Bam, Josh, Hector, these guys have known each other since they were kids. Right. Um, so I'm I'm sure he's excited to be back. You know here at the gym where he's you know he's comfortable with with, with the guys with us you know he, he spent a lot of time here with us um i haven't talked to him exactly about you know exactly how he's feeling but from from what it looks like he's really you know he's really happy he was really excited to come back and uh and uh train here again so you know now the the, the only thing is now to make sure he's 100 percent healthy you know he, he he's able to perform january 6th and you know win his fight and then move on up from there to get a, a title a title fight at 154. pita do you think early next year or at the very least next year Virgil Ortiz will be fighting for the world title at 154 or 160. I think so. I think uh, with Charlo vacating a lot of the titles, um, the WBO is already gone. I think the the, the IBF was probably going to be next. He's probably going to end up staying with one of them. I'm guessing it'll probably end up being like the WBC or something. He'll fight uh, Terrence Crawford for that. Or, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with all those guys, but I'm sure he's going to vacate most of them. Um, I think Virgil's already already ranked in the WBA. Um, so he'll have his fight January 6th. Then maybe he has a title eliminator or something. I think by the end of next year, I think I, I believe Virgil will be a world champ, not just fighting for the world title. I think he will be a world champ next year. I think um, there's been a lot of stuff outside of, 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 of boxing that has caused him that that's the reason that he hasn't been a world champ yet because um, he should have been a world champ by now. Um, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence holding up the division for so long and and. Uh, and then fighting and then even after they fight there's no answer to what you know to what they're going to do next as and far as a date it, yeah it's just it, it's just been a lot of stuff with with the welterweight division that virgil didn't get his chance earlier um he should have been a world champ at welterweight you know obviously that 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 passed already so now 154 hopefully by by next year he gets a shot and um and i believe he'll be i i do believe he'll be champ by the end of the year next year and Pete, that talk about the stable obviously bam rodriguez has a big big fight coming up against Sonny Edwards. Also, Raymond Murataya is coming off a great win. Lindolfo is coming off a great win. T talk about the stable of RGBA right now. We have a lot of a lot of good young fighters right now. Um, 
obviously bam's bam's the the i think he's the only yeah he's the lone world champ at the gym right now um uh, but we but even him he's 23 years old uh Damn, we have so young yeah I he's forget. so young man um raymond lindolfo we got young guys that you guys are going to see that everybody's going to get to see on the on chop, bam's chop. undercard albert gonzalez and arturo cardenas that will be on on bam's undercard that everybody's gonna get a chance to see those guys are are really good we got some guys that are that are fighting on our shows right now that we're still you know they're still four rounder four round fighters but guys like art barrera leo rubalcaba um some of those guys Rubalcaba's you know you guys really good, yeah you guys are going to see them you know coming up uh in, in the next few years but obviously the i would say the top guys you could say right now bam you know virgil raymond lindolfo those guys they're uh they're right there you know like like i said i think by the by the end of next year uh virgil will be world champ but not just virgil i think raymond will get it will get a title fight by by sometime midway next year um i think he'll be a world champ uh, lindolfo is, is on his way i think i think by the end of next year, he'll be ranked in the top five, top ten for any of the divisions, and he'll be ready for a world title shot as well. Um, we got a lot of a lot of good good young fighters. Everybody's gonna everybody's gonna start seeing little by little. Um, like I said, Arturo Cardenas and Albert Gonzalez are two guys on Bam's undercard that they're really gonna they're really gonna like. They're two really talented fighters. One uh, Cardenas fights at 122, and and Albert's a featherweight. So um, you know those are guys that they have to they have to keep an eye on. All right, real quick, what's your prediction? Benavides versus Boo Boo Andrade. I got Benavides late stoppage. I think Boo Boo is is gonna give him i wouldn't say trouble but he's gonna he's gonna be able to box and move for a few rounds make it make it make it a little a little difficult at the beginning i still think david's gonna control most of the fight from the beginning to the end um but just the movement but once he starts getting hit with those body shots and combinations he'll slow down a little bit and then i think david stops him late in the fight but it's gonna be a great fight boo boo is not not the easiest style to uh to beat it's it's, it's difficult he moves he he uh he's real elusive his defense is real is, is great so i um I think he'll give he'll give David a good fight, but I think David's gonna control most of the fight from the beginning to the end. His pressure is gonna be too much. Combinations, his speed. Um, that's the thing when you get most most pressure fighters, they um they're usually like the slower you know uh slower slower hand speed than than guys like Boo Boo who can move. But David David's quick man. David's fast. I think David will since the beginning of the fight, his combinations are gonna start landing, and by the ninth tenth round, he'll break him down and stop. Him.